I got two things in the mail today and one of them came from the Netherlands and the one of them, other one came from, uh, I don't remember because I tore off the other envelope other half of the envelope. This has 50 cents stamps on it. I mean 50 cents worth of stamps on it. Some Christmas ones but that does not mean I sent it out in Christmas. This is a mystery to me because I do not remember uh, sending out these particular cards to Jeff Devannon. This Fleer Tradition card from probably 2003, uh, 2004 and this really interesting Jeff Devannon die cut. Uh, who to watch? I don't remember. I it's possible that I sent both of those, but if you seem to think that those are your cards. Um, but I think I sent them to him when I was kind of bored with the, the autographing and just picked something on CMC that was dirt cheap to, to fill out my order. That's what I'm guessing. Unless somebody gave it to me, I do not remember. The next thing came from the Netherlands via eBay, eBay type purchase. Each item was a dollar seven. Uh, buy it now, and it was like a dollar thirty-four to a dollar forty-three shipping. But you had to pay each shipping because some of the sellers uh, overseas. That's what you have to do unless you have some way to uh, prior arrange through through another thing here. Um, but I got Sandra Schumacher, uh, who was in the 1984 Olympics from Germany, and she won the bronze, I believe, for the track cycling. And uh, we came in uh, and got silver, I, I think. I'm not 100% sure about that one. I wanted this card for a long time because I like Olympic stuff. And also uh, because about three years ago I tried to purchase this card and it got lost in the mail with some other autographs that I've never been able to find again. And that was really cheap to get that one. Like I said, it was about a dollar seven, and it's nicely signed in silver here. I got one that's signed by uh, Raymond uh, Kulemans. And uh, he's a very famous, uh, po um, sorry, uh, pool player from Germ, uh, not Germany, a uh, Belgium. And it's nicely signed in pen right there. And he's won uh, like 35 titles. And and Wikipedia said he's one of the most dominant uh, players in sports uh, ever. And I thought that was really awesome to get. And the advertisement on the back here is advertising Minolta in. Uh, uh, a language that I don't really understand. Um, there's a few different languages there. That's really pretty cool. And so that was really cheap. And I got two cycling postcards and these are ones that he specializes in, this particular seller. I cannot remember his name. And this is probably from the 20s, I'm guessing, judging by the font there. Uh, Gene Burgarts. And I know nothing about him. I couldn't find anything, but I just thought it was really cool. And you can tell it's really old with all the all the writing on the back of it. And that was really awesome to get that one. And I know it's original and real because the corners are so thrashed. But, you know, it might be not rare to him, but I don't have one of these. And I'm not going to find one in the United States. And then I got a cool postcard of this uh, Louisin Bobet, who is a French... Um, cyclist um, and he won like the Tour de France in 1953 to 1955 and I believe he was the first person to do that a uh, win three times in a row the Tour de France and I just liked it because he had these awesome goggles and again you can tell it's old and authentic because it's got pinholes and corner damage there and again that's why it was really cheap but condition I don't really care about as long as it's a cool picture I've seen lots of these in different variations so it's not a rare picture but it's just kinda cool to have an older one and that's the stuff that I got in and it was really awesome to to get all that and I'm gonna leave a positive on all these autographs here and cool postcards and maybe I'll get some more and uh, cuz he's got a ton of cool stuff and uh, thank you for watching